Hey, what's up guys? Kermit the Frog here. Just kidding, C here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add digitally written text. So text that you either wrote with uh, your mouse in Paints or um, what do you call it? Uh, Windows Inks Workspace or text that you've written with a drawing tablet. Basically any text that you wrote on your computer and you wanna add into Premiere Pro onto your footage as you can see right here. So as you can see, this, this is the text I've handwritten with my Huion a drawing tablet, which I'll show you guys some B-roll footage of. And I'm going to be showing you how to add that or anything that you write into your Premiere Pro footage. So let's get started. So first things first, you're going to head on over into Windows Ink Workspace. Just click on that. Click on the Sketchpad, which is right here. Uh, this is obviously with Windows 10. So if you don't have Windows 10, then you would do this in Paint. Basically, go ahead and grab your mouse and just write whatever you want in any color that you want. It's not necessarily going to do it in that exact color with the uh, Premiere Pro footage, but this works best with black. Um, and that's going to switch, switch on over to white, as you saw before in the video. So go ahead and write whatever you want to write. So I'm um, right now with my mouse. Let's go ahead and write Beats. Um, beats. And we can just put an X right there. Let's type in a review, I, E, W. You know what, let me go ahead and switch over to my Huion tablet. Let's just delete that because it's a lot neater if I do that with my Huion tablet. Uh, it's a very cheap tablet, actually. If you guys were interested in checking that out, I could uh, definitely post a link for you guys. So let's just go ahead and plug it back in. So it reinitiates itself, and there we go. So as you can see, it's a lot neater. It looks a lot more natural. X e, w. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. So we're going to click on this uh, save button right here. Let's add it as a sketch and we'll save it as a sketch one, two, three. We'll save it on the desktop. Let's click on save, exit out of there. And as you can see, we have the sketch one, two, three right there. And I'm opening it, opening that up in paint.net. If you guys don't know what paint.net is, it's a free um, application. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Anyway, go ahead and grab that and add that into Premiere. So let's go ahead. Let's put Premiere on the side here. Let's drop that into our into our our uh, import box, as I like to call it. Then we're gonna drag some more footage in there. We'll drag another clip. We'll add a sketch one, two, three. So let's go on over to that. As you can see, it looks like that because I did import it. Uh, this is the raw footage. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go into your effects tab, which is right here on the left. If you have CS6 and you're gonna type in invert so that you can get the effect, the invert effect. You're gonna take that, drag that, drop it on the, on the um, thing that I just added onto the clip. So on the sketch, and as you can see, it did invert the colors. It changed black to white and white to black. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make sure that I have this selected still. Let's go ahead, drag that to the full clip. Um, just not to get confused, I'm gonna, you know what, I'll just leave it as that small. I'm gonna go ahead and select this. I'm gonna go into opacity, and in opacity, I'm gonna look for blend mode, where it says blend mode right there. I'm gonna click on that, drop down menu, click on lighten, and as you can see, my text has been added, the background has faded, and I can go ahead and stretch that along the whole clip if I want. And there you go. That's pretty much how you do it. Anyway, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys did, uh, did learn how to do this. If you didn't, uh, let me know in the comment section below if you, ran into, if you ran into any difficulties. But anyway, that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.